Right, everyone, so OpenAI just released Search GPT. It is still a prototype, but it looks amazing. And it's essentially a competitor or a direct competitor to Google. And uh, in this video, I wanna go over uh, what it is, how it works, how it can impact Google, and also how to get early access to Search GPT. Now, I guess let's start with impact. Uh, if we take a look at Google stock, uh, it is down, right? I think they lost a couple of billion in market cap. Now, granted, of course, uh, the market overall crashed, so that's maybe why it's also down. And also, people oftentimes um, overreact to this stuff, right? When ChatGPT was launched, uh, this also happened, but the markets tend to correct themselves, and it's never really as uh, harsh as people make it seem, right? Again, this, yes, it, this could be a competitor to Google, again, still in prototype, but again, Google is also a billion dollar company, so they know how to react to these types of stuff, and surely they will adapt. Now, um, what is SearchGPT, right? Again, it's still a prototype. We're testing Search GPT, a temporary prototype of a new AI search feature that gives you fast and timely answers with a clear and relevant sources, right? And the good thing about this is that we see that even in the AI space, search engines are still a thing. So as long as search engines exist, right? As long as humans consume information through a search engine, uh, SEO, so search engine optimization, it's always going to be there. And later on in the video, I'll go over how to do SEO uh, for search GPT. Basically, this is a preview of how it's going to look like. Again, a search, uh, you search for a query and it gives you a list of, of information with, again, of course, the um, sources where it found the information to. And again, you can chat back and forth to it uh, just like uh, with ChatGPT. Um, to get early access, quite simply, just go to openai.com, uh, go to the tab where it says, uh, surely it's going to be on the homepage, yeah. Scroll a bit down, click here, and just click join waitlist. And you need to be logged in in your OpenAI account. No need to be a paid one, of course. And just click join a waitlist, and you'll join a waitlist. And when uh, I'm allowed in, I'll, of course, make a video on it and um, in a bit more detail. Now, what I also want to go over is uh, how SEO is going to play out for these type of search engines. And the reality is that, again, these search engines, right, these new AI search engines, for them to display the information as they do, right, they need to take the info out of a publisher, right? They take the info out of multiple publishers and show them to the users. Of course, they show the info from the publishers that have the most relevant information based on the search query the user is searching for, right? And the question is, how do you become a publisher that shows up in these search results? Because again, let's say, for example, you're an e-commerce shop, right? And someone's searching for uh, best um indoor house plant, right? The AI is gonna give you images, videos, right? Uh, do's and don'ts, and also gonna give you sources to where you can buy these plants. Now, how do you make sure that you show up on there, right? Well, you gotta become an authority in this space for, again, these niche house plants, right? And the way you should become an authority is by building up your brand. And how do you build up a brand? Right, for example, you produce content, right? You have a website, let's say, again, it's about gardening or plants, right? You have a blog, multiple blog posts talking about the best plants, indoor plants, plants lighting, uh, plant substract, uh, do's and don'ts, right? You become the authority in this space for your niche, right? And the way you can do this is you can produce blog content. Um, also, you can produce videos, right? You can go on social media, right? Be active on your older socials, build up your brand, because that's in the way in which you're gonna be posted up on the search engines, right? Again, people think SEO is gonna go away. It's not, it's just gonna become different, but you're still gonna have to be producing content, right? Whether that's in blog post form, for example, this right here, let's say I have um, a, a place where people can go out and groom their, their, their golden retrievers. I have a service where people come in and I, I groom their golden retrievers, right? If I want to be showing up on GPT or on search GPT or in a future AI search engine from Google, right? Who knows who's going to win? Who's going to win? I have to be, I have to make sure that my brand becomes an authority in the niche. So I can use tools like journal, Journalist AI to write up these blog posts, make sure they have images, tables of contents, um, links to my services, links to other authoritative sources like in arc or relevant videos to what the content is about. So I'm able to produce, again, you don't need to use Journalist AI, you can just use ChatGPT, but use, or even you can just write the content manually if you want, but you're gonna have to write the content, right? You're gonna have to take your site, right? This is your website and free to show up on, I guess, let's call them regular search engines like Google or these new AI search engines. You're gonna have to have a proper brand with blog posts, right? Uh, with video content, with active social medias, where maybe you share your blog post to social media, right? Um, with videos where maybe you convert a blog post to a video, which by the way, you can do so. Uh, this right here uh, is a, this blog post was all generated based off of this video. I'll show you later on how to do it. But basically have all this 
things that build up your brand, right? And that's how you're going to be showing up on both these search engines, okay? And again, you can use a tool like Journal to do it. Uh, this also, by the way, again, you can just add uh, what I did. By the way, this blog post right here, this is all announcing the uh, search GPT. This is all done with AI. I just took this video right here. I went into Journal AI, generate articles. I went into uh, YouTube video to blog post. I just pasted it in here, the, the video URL, right? I clicked generate article and it got me this right here, right? With images, videos, links, internal links, external links, in article images, a bunch more stuff. Um, so I just converted my video content to um, blog content. And again, this all ties in with how SEO is going to be uh, performing in the future for these platforms. Again, you're, gonna, you're still going to have to be producing content because these platforms, the info they provide to users is based on the publisher's info. But the publishers being the brands, right? So you're still going to have to produce content. And of course, it's the search engine's job to give context of where they found the info. And they do give context in links in, in like this way. So they do give context to uh, the owner or the, the original publisher, right? And again, you can do all this manually, right? You can write the blog, po blog posts manually. You can record videos and then convert them into blog posts. Uh, or you can just use AI. Um, also, one really cool feature is that and this is all, all, make, all makes sense. This is an AI generated news article, right? This is a news article, all written with AI, with the sources down here, but based on real life events, right? And what you can do with this, let's say, for example, you have a, a website, you sell, I don't know, you sell pools, right? And you have your site, right? Where people can book or but they can buy pools, they can maybe book uh, pool cleaning services, right? But then also you have a, a forward slash blog, right? On your site where you write multiple blog posts, right? And these blog posts rank for several keywords, right? They rank, right? And you get traffic this way. But also, let's say you have a news section on your site, a section where you just write news about the latest news in, in the pool industry, right? Materials, uh, new, maybe new chlorines they discovered that go into the water and make the water healthier, how to keep your, uh, like the, this new um, filter that was found, by, created by these, these guys that makes the water look crystal clear, right? News in the pool space. And this applies to any niche, right? And you add all these news into a section on your site. So now your site becomes hyper relevant for this industry niche because it has uh, the blog posts, right? Creating all this topical authority in the niche, driving search traffic to the site, right? You're becoming relevant for all these keywords related, related with pool cleaning, pool buying services. Then you also have this news section where your site, <clears throat> excuse me, is now the most trustworthy place for news aggregation for pool cleaning services. So you become the authority in the niche. Then of course you have all your social medias uh, where you, maybe you syndicate your blog posts too. So you become the authority in the space for that. And again, you can of course write all these news manually or you can just use AI to write them for you, which is a thousand percent faster. It gives you images, gives you tables of content, gives you even um, the sources, right? Uh, you can also write Amazon product listings reviews, right? This is an, a link. I just took a link from Amazon and it wrote the product review, it even has a link to the product itself. So if you're doing this, you can too as well. My point here is that you're still gonna have to be producing content. Now you can do it manually or you can just leverage AI because it does it so much faster uh, for you. Now, of course, granted, sometimes the output of the AI isn't the best, right? So you might wanna change things up. And this is where the human editing comes in, but aided with AI. So you can just select text, for example, right here. And you can, for example, let's say, I wanna add links here, add external links, right? And now the AI will look for relevant links to add to this paragraph. So as you see here, it prompted me this. I'll just add these two right here. As you go, as you see here, I just added external links to this paragraph right here. Again, super quick. I don't have to go out and see if they're relevant or not and look for the best place to add links to the knowledge. AI just does it for me automatically. Let's say, for example, uh, I didn't really like how AI wrote this. I want to uh, I wanna just rewrite this uh, all, right? I just click here, rewrite, and the AI is going to rewrite this, right? And if I like it, I can accept or discard the, um, the changes. For example, let's say I select all this right here, and I want to sprinkling my keywords right here. So I want to make sure that the text has more of my SEO keywords that it ranks for those keywords. I can sprinkle them here and here if I want. I can also like uh, make it shorter, make it longer, make a list out of this, make a table. So again, my point here is that you're not stuck with the output of the AI. You can edit it manually as a human, but leveraging AI tools to do it faster. Because the whole point of AI is that you can do the same thing a human can do just faster, right? And so that's it. That's the announcement. That's what I think the future is going to hold. Uh, that's how you get early access. And uh, as soon as I get access myself, I'll of course record a video on that. Thank you so much for watching. If you watched this far and you want to give it a go, uh, and you want to give it a go, sorry, at Journalist AI, just go to tryjournalist.com, click the little chat bubble right here and say the, tell the support guys, listen guys, I came from this YouTube video right here, copy the video URL, paste it in here, say, listen, I came from this video on a coupon code and the guys will hook you up with the coupon code. Uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.